Welcome to the Easy DIY Indoor Kotornix Quail Pen System. I've got a total of 18 quail here, two roosters in the top cages there, and then two roosters amongst 14 hens. And today so far, we've gotten at least uh, 10 eggs, and we'll see how the rest of the day goes. 10 eggs, not, nothing too shabby, nothing to sneeze at. And if we come over here, you see that the food setup is just taking part of what was with the cage system and taking some pieces out. This is my, my favorite one here. She always comes to me. Hello. This is a hen and yeah, she'll eat directly from my hand. She's one of the friendly ones here, uh, but there's, they're all used to me now in my voice and when they hear me coming or my wife, they, um, they come right up and kind of greet us. So it's kind of having like little, little chickens in suburbia. You can call these city chickens, suburban chickens. You know, in my county, we can't have chickens if you are on less than two acres of property. So this is a great solution for meat, eggs, and I've got a variety of salads going at any given time too. So none of this is really uh, electric powered except for the lights running the greens here. And it is a sunny enough room sometimes that I can operate without those lights because again, growing greens, you don't need a whole lot of light but it certainly does make a good difference. And then the greens go for us as well as the quail here. And the biggest thing that really helps out with the quail is I've got comfrey everywhere out there. And you can hear the background noise. I just want to emphasize, look, I'm in the middle of suburbia and I can pull this off so you can too. And comfrey growing everywhere out there grows in here too. And the comfrey, they really go for it and leave nothing behind. Um, so there you have it. Easy DIY indoor quail growing system for the winter to include greens for me, greens for the quail. You know, not that it's needed probably, but I like to have my own little extra watering systems. Again, cheap DIY materials around the house, materials I had left over from other ventures. So... Finally, learning how to make good use of a dual cage pen system and reap daily rewards too. So really trying to work on return on investment 